Why, hello? My native friends, Cindy sending in. It's almost 9 o'clock a.m. here in Las Piñas. I'm in my new uh, condo, condo unit, one bedroom condo unit, which will be my home for the for the coming three months while I'm taking my while I'm taking my um, treatments until we get sea free hopefully in God's in God's will and grace so anyway um, uh, um, I haven't uploaded my videos yet the ones that I recorded yes yesterday and related to that is this vlog which I will be uh, um, uploading following that after I uh, after I release that uh, video later on I'll have to go down for a better um, Wi-Fi uh, internet speed okay so remember remember how I told you how life's direction would get so confusing for us and uncontrollable by us because everything depends on how God has written our destiny. Lay and I were just discussing before we reached Kuya Eric's house yesterday while Rod was driving the car behind the passenger seat. How I went to the same house three decades ago yes that same house when Rodney left us me and my kids for lay that was the time when he left us for lay because lay was uh, uh, giving birth to her eldest child from Rodney so she stayed she stayed there in that house with uh, Rodney one day uh, one day I um, I mean she stayed there in that house to be with Rodney because uh, Rodney is not coming back he's, he's not coming home to us anymore right so technically he's with her already and they've been staying there and one day one day after I completed my Taekwondo yellow belt training with my other co-preschool teachers, we decided and I decided most especially that I'm already confident that I can, that I can beat them both up because that was my objective of, uh, of enrolling to that uh, Taekwondo class. So I can beat them all, they can, I can beat them both up real good with my karate skills. So I, w I went there walking. I was, uh, I was so, so, of course, my adrenaline was so high. I was in my, uh, I, mean, I was in my jogging pants. I was ready to beat someone up. I was uh, dressed for the occasion. I was heading there. So when I knocked the door, their aunt who was still alive back then, then opened the door for me. And she showed me the room where they were staying. But when I saw her with a baby be sleeping beside her, I just cannot express here how I felt. Anyway, you can you can you can fill the blanks with your thoughts. How how I have how I felt when uh, when I saw her when I opened the door. She was uh, she was uh, she was sitting beside the baby who's uh, the baby who's uh, sleeping beside her. So what I did is just I just started talking to her asking how she's been doing and we just ended up talking like nothing but in my heart 
I talk to God with my silent prayer. And looking back to this day, I could never be thankful to lay how lay have saved me and how thankful I am to God how God had redesigned another life for me because I am married early right and of course I was already having Rodney as my, my husband before and of course um, as, a, as a wife to him I should always follow him that's why I've been having three kids uh, with um, with the one year gap or, or less than one year gap this is how Rodney is so um, but God have uh, have decided to give me another life he redesigned a new life for me with the help of Lay Lay who saved me so imagine how thankful I am why did why God had made that happen otherwise I would have not met my greatest love, my kindest one true love, my Halki. <sighs> That's why, never doubt the plans of God. Just allow Him to lead the way. And always be thankful. Thankful to Him that He is just there with us beside us to guide us <sighs> that he has something greater and bigger in store for you just wait and see and this pandemic we have here this is just one of them believe me you know that I know I know you know that With this pandemic, he's just trying to make us a bit uncomfortable to better appreciate what we had been having easily before this pandemic happened. Before this pandemic happened, life was easy for us. We don't have to use that as health and safety protocol. We don't have to wear all those uh, masks. Everything seemed to be so, so easy. But we never did uh, thank God. That's why right now, just keep thanking God in, in whatever we are experiencing. And I guess this pandemic will be over soon. Yes, this will never be there forever. There will come a time that this will end. This is just temporary. Just hang on and uh, keep praying to God. So, in God's name... We thank you, O Lord, and we place everything in your hands. We again thank you for your guidance and for bringing us here where we are right now. Thank you for your guidance. Please continue to guide us along the way because without you, we are nothing. So, this is Cindy signing out.